Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on instantaneous center for slider crank mechanism. So first I will read what is the given problem. Locate all the instantaneous centers of the slider crank mechanism as shown in diagram. The lengths of crank OB and connecting rod AB are 100 mm and 400 mm respectively. If the crank rotates clockwise with an angular velocity of 10 rad per second, find first velocity of slider, second angular velocity of the connecting rod AB. So this was the given question. We will first plot the instantaneous centers. So for that we have to first write how many links are there in the given mechanism. Now if we observe this mechanism here, this is the crank OB that is getting rotated in clockwise direction about the fixed center O. Here connecting rod AB is there and the slider A is getting reciprocated along this fixed line that is the center of O and center of A is getting connected and this is the fixed line. Now we have to take some suitable scale for making for taking the instantaneous center. So we will take here scale 10 millimeter is equal to 0.4 centimeter. So we can say that 100 millimeter is equal to 4 centimeter. So for this 100 millimeter we have to take here 4 centimeter and for this uh, 400 millimeter we have to take here as a 16 centimeter. So first we have to take here as a point A. Then from the point O we have to take, then we have to take here one line passing through this point O and take 45 degree angle and then at 45 degree angle we have to take this OB and then here we have to take from this point B along this fixed line that is the center of A and center of O are same or are on the same line. So from this point B we have to mark here one point that is at 400 millimeter so here 400 millimeter that means 16 centimeter we have to take and on that point we have to connect here as a or draw here as a slider so in this way this diagram will be getting completed now we will make here points how many links are there so if we observe this OB is getting rotated about this point O. So here this is the fixed link that is 1. Then this OB is the link 2. Then this connecting rod is the link 3. And this slider is the link 4. So there are total number of links are 4. Now from this we have to find out how many instantaneous centers are there. So how to calculate. So we have formula N is equal to N n minus 1 by 2 so where n is the number of links so we can say that 4 in the bracket 4 minus 1 by 2 and that is equal to 6 so for, from this we come to know that there is 6 number of instantaneous centers so how to find out these centers so for that we have to make here one table so links are 1 2 3 4 now instantaneous centers in this we have to take 1 is connected to link 2 that is 1 2 1 is connected to 3 that is 1 3 1 is connected to 4 1 4 now we will move for the next column that is 2 2 is connected to 3 2 is connected to 4 that is 2 3 2 4 then 3 is connected to 4 that is 3 4 we cannot come to the back because when we take here 4 is connected to 1 that is 4 1 or link between 1 and 4 is there that is it is already present so these are the instantaneous centers now we have to first plot fixed and permanent instantaneous centers by the observation now if we observe here there is the connection in between link 1 and 2 at the point o so we can say that i 1 2 then there is the connection between link 2 and 3 at point b so here we will write i 2 3 then here there is the connection between link 3 and 4 at this point A. So we will say that I 3 4. Now if we observe this slider is getting reciprocated along this fixed line 1 to 4. That means 
so here is the connection so there is the connection in between this point 1 and 4 so it is getting reciprocated and this link is fixed link so when it is sliding along this line then there is the instantaneous center we have to show at infinity that is when the motion of slider is along the fixed line then there is the instantaneous center will go to the infinity so we have to show this connection will move to the infinity from these both points that is from point 1 also and from point 4 also so I will show here so here we can say instantaneous center 1 4 that is I 1 4 and it is at infinity so in the same way from point 1 also we have to show here instantaneous center I 1 4 and that will be at infinity so we have to show now we will find out the neither fixed nor permanent instantaneous center by Kennedy's method and for that we have to draw here one circle and inside that circle we have to take the four links so for that four links we will take here four lines so with the help of black marker I will draw here four bars inside the circle The end point should be connected so 1, 2, 3, 4 and here for these rigid links I will take here the numbers 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now how to find out the neither fixed nor permanent instantaneous center. So here we have to make one structure line that is we have to join the opposite points in such a way that there is the formation of two opposite triangles. So here if I join point 1 and 3 then there is the formation of two triangles so if we observe 1 2 3 and 1 4 3 if two triangles are formed so I will write here 1 2 3 and 1 4 3 so in between these two triangles 1 3 is the common line so here it will give us the instantaneous center I13. So how to plot this instantaneous center? So we will move for the first triangle that is 1, 2, 3. So this 1, 2 is joining that is instantaneous center I12 is there. And for this 2, 3 instantaneous center I23 is there. So we have to project I12 and I23. So where is I12? here and I23 is here so I will project here now we will move for the second triangle so here one fourth connection is there and four three connection is there so if we observe I14 is there and I34 is there so we have to project these two centers that is I14 and I34 so I34 is here from this point A and I14 is also here that is passing through this point 4 so here this is the projection that we have already making to show the infinity so the, here this is the projection of these two centers and here is the point of intersection so this point of intersection will give us I13 so in this way this instantaneous center is getting plotted. Now remember that one important point while taking instantaneous centers we have to take smaller number first because now if in between these two points that is 1 and 4 we have to take the instantaneous center so we have to take one number is smaller that is first and then fourth now in the same way in between four and three we have to take first three and then four that is instantaneous center three and four is there so we have to take this rule for every time to avoid the confusion then again we will move for the next so if i join this point two and four again there is the formation of opposite triangles So here 
214 so i will write here triangle 214 and triangle 234 now in this two triangles 24 is the common line so i will say instantaneous center i 24 will be there so how to find out that so we will move for this triangle 214 so in between 214 here 21 So here the instantaneous center I one two is there, and here one four the instantaneous center I one four is there. So we have to make projection for this I one two and I one four. So here is the I one two and here is the I one four. So this is the line that is projection is already there. Now we will move for the second triangle that is two three four. So here in between two three I two three is the instantaneous center and here I three four is the instantaneous center. So here is the I two three and I three four. So these two points that we have to project. So here is the projection. So I will make here. So here this is the point of intersection, and that point of intersection will give us I two four. So in this way, the instantaneous centers are getting plotted. That is one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six numbers of instantaneous center for this mechanism is getting plotted. Now we will move for the calculation part. So if we observe. Omega O B that is the angular velocity of this point B about the center O is given that is ten rad per second. Then this O B is also known that is hundred millimeter which is equal to zero point one meter. So how we can calculate the velocity at this point B? So V B which is equal to V O B which is equal to R into omega. Because this point B is moving about the center O, so we have to take R is equal to this O B. OB multiplied by omega OB. So OB is zero point one and omega OB is ten. That is VB is equal to one meter per second. So in this way we will get here the velocity at point B from the given data. Now what is the first question? First question is velocity of slider A. So how to find out the velocity of this slider A? So if we take this link ab then velocity and the distance perpendicular distance from the center we can take the ratio so if we observe this a and b is having instantaneous center i13 so if i take the ratio that is va divided by what is the distance from this instantaneous center to this point a that is i13 aa which is equal to vb and the distance from the instantaneous center is i13 b so this ratio is same so it is important because the point a and b is having instantaneous center i13 so va divided by i13 a which is equal to vb divided by i13 b so with the help of scale we have drawn this diagram So what is this vertical distance I one three A that is four sixty millimeter and this I one three B distance is five sixty millimeter. So now V B is also known. So only one unknown term that is V A. So if I take I one three A to the numerator on the other side, so one into zero point forty six divided by zero point four fifty six and which is equal to zero point eighty two meter per second. So this is the answer of first question. Now the next question is we have to find out the angular velocity of this AB. So how to find out the angular velocity of this AB? So we know that VB that is known, VA that is also known. So V is equal to R omega. So we can take here V either VA or either VB. So suppose I take VA. Then we have to take R I one three A, and if I take V B, then I have to take this distance from the center of this B that is I one three B. So we can say that V A by I one three A, which is equal to V B by I one three B, which is equal to omega A B. So we will select here as a V B. So V B is one meter, and I one three B is zero point fifty six meter. 
so 1 divided by 0 0.56 which is equal to 1.78 rad per second so this is the answer of second question